I think that's all we'll need you for, George. I know you're anxious to make a train. I have a taxi waiting downstairs. I want the board to know that George gave up his trip to Europe to help straighten things out here these past few months. Good luck to your school, George. Good luck, George. Good luck. Good luck. Now we come to the real purpose of this meeting, to appoint a successor to our dear friend, Peter Bailey. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to get to my real purpose. Wait just a minute now. Wait Mayor. for what? I claim this institution is not necessary to this town. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to dissolve this institution and turn its assets and liabilities over to the receiver. Marty, you dirty, oh, oh, I'll read this next time. George, did you hear what that was? It's too soon after Peter Bailey's death to talk about chloroforming the building and loan. Peter right. right. Bailey right. died three months ago. I second Mr. Potter's motion. Very well. In that case, I'll ask the two executive officers to withdraw. But before you go, I'm sure the whole board wishes to express its deep sorrow at the passing of Peter Bailey. Thank you. Right. It was his faith and devotion that are responsible for this organization. I'll go further than that. I'll say that to the public, Peter Bailey was the building in law. Oh, that's fine, Potter, coming from you, considering that you probably drove him to his grave. Peter Bailey was not a businessman. That's what killed him. Oh, I don't mean any disrespect to him. God rest his soul. He was a man of high ideals so-called. But ideals without common sense can ruin this town. <laughs> now, you take this loan here to Ernie Bishop. You know, that fellow that sits around all day on his brains in his taxi, you know. I happen to know the bank turned down this loan. But he comes here, and we're building him a house worth $5,000. Why? Well, I handled that, Mr. Potter. You have all the papers there, his salary, insurance. I can personally vouch for his character. Friend of yours? Yes, sir. Uh, you see, if you shoot pool with some employee here, you can come and borrow money. <laughs> what does that get us? A discontented, lazy rabble instead of a thrifty working class. And all because a few starry-eyed dreamers like Peter Bailey stir them up and fill their head with a lot of impossible ideas. Now, I say... Just a minute. Just, just a minute. Now, hold on, Mr. Potter. Just a minute. Now, you're right when you say my father was no businessman. I know that. Why he ever started this cheap penny ante building alone, I'll never know. But... Neither you nor anybody else can say anything against his character because his whole life was... Why, in the 25 years since he and Uncle Billy started this thing, he never once thought of himself. Isn't that right, Uncle Billy? He didn't save enough money to send Harry to school, let alone me. But he did help a few people get out of your slums, Mr. Potter. And what's wrong with that? Well, here, you're all businessmen here. Don't it make them better citizens? Doesn't it make them better customers? You, you said that they... What did you say just a minute ago? They, they had to wait and save their money before they even thought of a decent home? Wait? Wait for what? Until their children grow up and leave them? Until they're so old and broken down that they... Do you know how long it takes a working man to save $5,000? Just remember this, Mr. Potter, that this rabble you're talking about, they do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. Well, is it too much to have them work and pay and live and die in a couple of decent rooms and a bath? Anyway, my father didn't think so. People were human beings to him, but to you, a warped, frustrated old man, they're cattle. Well, in my book, he died a much richer man than you'll ever be. I'm not interested in your book. I'm talking about the building and loan. I know very well what you're talking about. You're talking about something you can't get your fingers on, and it's galling you. That's what you're talking about, I know. Well, I, I, I've said too much. I, you're, the, you're the board here. You do what you want with this thing. There's just one thing more, though. This town needs this measly one-horse institution, if only to have some place where people can come without crawling to Potter. Come on. Sentimental hogwash. I want my motion no, acted on. Boy, oh boy, that was telling George, oh boy, you shut his big mouth. You should have heard.